Hello, my name is Brian Dick. I'm a software engineer, and this is my YouTube tutorial series on the HackerRank Interview Preparation Kit. Currently, we are going over greedy algorithms, and this is the max min problem. You will be given a list of integers r and a single integer k. You must create an array length k from elements of r such that the unfairness is minimized. Call that array r prime. Unfairness of the array is calculated max of r prime minus min of r prime, where max denotes the largest integer in the array r and min denotes the smallest integer in the array r prime. Okay, so basically what we're trying to do here is we want to make a sub array of r uh, called r prime where the smallest and the largest, the difference between the smallest integer and the largest integer of the subarray is the absolute smallest possible for this full array. So when we're thinking about how we can solve a problem like this, uh, knowing that we have a greedy algorithm to work with here, we know that we're going to be looking for some method that we could use that we guarantee the right answer by choosing the best looking answer at any given step. And in this case, this will be done by sorting the array first. So I'm going to go ahead and show on Notepad what I mean um, and why this works. So essentially, what we will do here is... Let's say we had one, two, seven, eight, uh, and 12. And our k is equal to three. Well, we want to know which subarray we can look at where we have the smallest difference between the smallest number and the largest number. Well, if we have a sorted array like so, we can simply look at every subarray of size three um, and see what the difference is. So we take the first subarray, one, two, seven. Seven minus one is six. Uh, so our current min would be six. So we'll put that down. Cur is equal to six. Then we have two, seven, nine. Two minus nine is seven. Seven is greater than six. So that is not the answer. And then we have seven, nine, 12. 12 minus seven is five. So the answer is now five, we can't go any higher. So that is our, so seven, nine, 12 would be our subarray and the min result would be five. Um, if this was all mixed up, uh, we would have a very complicated way of solving it. I don't really know how we would do that uh, efficiently. Uh, but if it's sorted, it's super efficient. That's n times complexity, very fast. So let's go implement it. Give me one second to uh, resize this uh, screen. Okay, I think that's good enough. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to sort the array. So let's put in sort r.begin, comma, r.end. Forgot the semicolon. Uh, now we have a sorted array. Great. Now we want to know where the beginning is. So to get our beginning, we're going to say uh, int cur min is equal to zero. That's the beginning of our subarray. And then we're going to get the end of our subarray. So int cur max is equal to k minus one. And this gives us a subarray of length k uh, between cur min and cur max. We're gonna go through in little bytes, uh, so that works. Uh, we're gonna need a number to keep track of our current minimum. So min on fairness is equal to infinity uh, because that's as large as it could possibly be. And the answer will definitely be smaller than that. Um, lastly, we just need a temp that we can use as a uh, check for each given sub uh, possibility. And then, Lastly, we do a while loop. While the cur max is less than r dot size, uh, we continue to iterate, and we're going to say temp is equal to r at max cur max minus r at cur min 
And that difference there is the this sub arrays, this are primes uh, value uh, of unfairness. If temp is less than min unfairness, we're gonna say min unfairness is equal to temp, like so. And then of course we wanna increment our cur min, increment our cur max. And then after we've iterated through the entire array, we return min on fairness. Uh, I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and run it. Past all of the uh, preliminary test cases, let's submit our code. Is that all of them? There we go. Congratulations. That is how you solve the min-max uh, problem with a greedy algorithm. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you if you're stuck on this problem. Uh, please comment if uh, you have any doubts or any questions about how this was achieved. Uh, please leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And subscribe for more HackerRank interview preparation kit problems. Bye-bye.